Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. What's going on? I am here with another AMC update, and this video differs slightly from my typical technical analysis videos. I delve deeply into the hypothesis that a market meltdown, lack of liquidity, and margin calls may easily result in an AMC short squeeze. I examine the AMC's facts and fundamental data, compare them to the history and present, and demonstrate how this might easily produce a short squeeze in the current market conditions. Thus, let's examine the charts, the facts, and the statistics to determine what's going on. I am back with a new video, and this one is going to be a total banger. Why? Because it will be filled to the brim with information you need to know. So let's examine the charts and the underlying data to see what's going on. Therefore, what I'm examining here based on my data and study is a fascinating notion. I've created a video explaining how a market meltdown could cause AMC to squeeze, and I've provided historical data and visuals to illustrate how this could truly occur. This section will delve a bit more into that notion and clarify what I mean and how a lack of liquidity can easily lead to a short squeeze. So I went ahead and did some research so I could easily put this up here, so you people can see it visually. Yet, the question was asked if lack of liquidity caused short squeezes. I already knew that it did. I am already aware that a lack of liquidity contributes to a short squeeze, as does the usage of the float. Therefore, the float is being exploited to its fullest capacity, and this is essentially what this section explains regarding a low stock float. Hence, if the float is locked up, or the floats are being heavily utilized and there is a lack of liquidity, this may easily lead to short squeezes and cause it to slip into the hard-to-borrow region which AMC would believe to be the case given the high cost of borrowing. This is how short squeezes can occur when the market dries up, when liquidity dries up, when margin calls begin to occur, when banks begin to fail, and when these dominoes begin to fall. And I believe we are truly witnessing this with our own eyes. You must consider the big picture. This play is so much larger than its daily price action. Thus you cannot simply examine its daily price movement. This drama is so huge and interconnected with so many various things that it is difficult to comprehend. Ank stock is intertwined with numerous parts of life. This small bit of cinematic madness. Yes, as a result of the interconnected nature of the stock market's operation, its infrastructure, the short interest, the short seller's manipulation of the stock, the longs, and everything else, several factors influence it. And this is related to it because hedge funds own everything and this one tiny maneuver could literally affect the entire planet due to their ownership. And I do believe that if you examine the facts of everything happening with the economy, the markets, and everything else, you can see that dominoes are beginning to fall and everything are falling into place. If we examine the 2008 charts we find, this is the chart for the 2008 market meltdown. If we examine the charts for 2008, so when did when did Volkswagen short squeeze? Hence, if you are unaware, there was a short squeeze during a previous recession and market meltdown involving VW. Volkswagen squeezing. Up October 2008, in the midst of a massive market crisis. If you examine October's specific position on the charts, you will notice that it had one of the largest red candles. In candle form, it is one of the largest monthly candles during the down month of October during the market crisis of 2008. If you examine the graph, you will notice that October was one of the months with the largest declines and the most market capitulation, and that is when Volkswagen squeeze. Likewise, I anticipate a similar situation with AMC. This is merely my personal view. This does not constitute financial advice. I am simply a random internet user. Do not rely on me. Instead, Conduct your own investigation and compare your findings with your own. If you wish though, you can view what I have for you right here. And this is what I am observing. We have dissected this broad macroeconomic slump. This is thus a macro. Downtrend, bolstering the downtrend okay. The fact that we were able to break out of it was tremendously positive. Everyone became quite aggressive. They began to believe that the bear market had ended and I predicted that we would need to retrace our steps and retest this level before maybe retracing our steps and testing one of these local highs on one of these highs here. And we did not even reach that point. On the macro, micro, and smaller timeframes, the price reached a new all-time high. On a larger scale though, we were unable to obtain it. 
so we attempted a second retest and succeeded. And what did I predict would transpire if we breached this line? We anticipated significant decline, and that is precisely what will occur. On the S&P 500, this low of $3,491 will be retested. This will be re-evaluated, and I believe that once we fall below that level and the market begins to completely collapse and disintegrate, that is when we might see AMC squeeze and the benefits. Even though the market is in a terrible condition and banks are failing, AMC has been performing exceptionally well and is in a general uptrend, as evidenced by its recent performance. And I want you to consider what happened to VW prior to its squeeze. It ran up a bit, then dropped, and then inflated. You must be prepared for anything. This situation will become highly volatile. I believe we are currently in a possible preparatory stage. At any moment, a massive flood could occur in front of the pump. This can take flight. However, market levels can help us determine when this will occur. As previously stated, we must fall below the level of 3400, or I believe it was 3400. Let me see the precise price for you right now. Officially, falling below the $3,491 barrier on the S and P500 is required before I believe there will be true market panic. And I believe that once we breach this level, we will see additional significant market declines. And then AMC may perhaps begin to flourish. But the reality is that nobody truly knows. Nonetheless, I will do my best to determine when it will occur. Therefore, I cannot provide you a response at this time. But, if one examines all available evidence, everything remains quite bullish. See, we are in an uptrend as the market is plummeting. And all of this data correlates with the market crash, with phase 6 of the banks caving in. If you have no knowledge about that, AMC Biggums had an idea regarding the phases of how this might transpire. Before AMC Biggums, when this was originally posted on Reddit, everyone believed that a market crash would create the squeeze, and we predicted the market crash on Reddit. They foresaw the market crash before to its occurrence in 2021, when the bull market was still in full swing. They foretold that the current market crash would occur, and lo and behold, it has arrived. We predicted banks would fail. Look, it's happening. The dominoes are toppling and the puzzle pieces are falling into place. Liquidity is evaporating. A brief compression will occur. AMC stock will see a short squeeze. So, gentlemen, that concludes the video. We hope you found it to be informative. I certainly did. If you did, please subscribe to receive similar articles in the future. Remember that you can find me on Twitter and Discord. These are completely gratis. Ask me questions there. I abandon all updates and other tasks. Hence, I hope you found this movie informative. I certainly did. If you did, please subscribe to receive similar articles in the future. As always, enjoy yourselves. Keep safe. Make money. Best wishes.